Okay guys, quickly before the video starts, I just wanted to thank all of the people who have been watching my videos lately. This wouldn't be possible without you guys. I really appreciate you. Also, this wasn't really the point of the video, but I hit 6,000 subscribers recently and also 2 million views, which is absolutely insane. But anyway, let's start the video. Yo guys, welcome back to another video and today's video is about my new PC because if you didn't know all my previous videos I ever made were on a laptop and yeah, it's finally time for an upgrade and today we are going to push this thing to the limit and see how strong it actually is. Um, so how this video is going to go, well I'm first going to go over the specs a little bit, not too much because probably some of you aren't interested in that and then later we are going to try and crash Minecraft with lots of things like entities, TNT, whatever, and I hope we can crash Minecraft at the end. So as you can see at the top left of the screen, there's some information um, like the temperatures and how much uh, GPU and CPU is used and stuff, how much RAM is used, and the FPS. Um, there is only 120 FPS if we set it to unlimited, we should start seeing it go, go up until a thousand and even more actually if I stand still. Um, yeah, we can get 1200. That's crazy. I got this cool screenshot of 3000 FPS. This was with the like, this was with the best settings, and I was looking at one block, so it literally need to only render a couple pixels, and I got 3000 FPS. So that's a powerful screenshot. I'm going to explain this as easy as possible because some of you might not know anything about PCs. So I built this thing myself, which means that I that I picked all the parts and I ordered them and, and then I put them together all by myself. I saved a lot of money. It was also a lot of fun. Total price was around about a thousand dollars. And yeah, that's pretty good for a PC this strong. Now I'm going to go over the specs. First of all, for the CPU, I'm using an AMD Ryzen 5 3600. It's like $170 and it's really good, uh, especially for its price. And for the GPU, I went with an NVIDIA RTX 2060 Super. If you don't know anything about PCs, I'm like 99% sure you still have heard of RTX with like Minecraft ray tracing and stuff. You need an NVIDIA RTX card. I'm pretty sure you heard about that. So yeah, I can do ray tracing in, in, in the better edition. I already tried it. It's pretty cool. And for RAM, I went with 16 gigabytes of um, RAM 3600 megahertz. that's like just the speed, how fast it goes. And yeah, it's pretty fast, it's like the max you need for, for now. And unless you're doing like 3D modeling or something, that's, also, that's always pretty heavy for the PC, but I'm just making gaming videos, okay? And then I have two and a half terabytes of, <laughs> of storage, um, 500 gigabytes um, SSD, M.2 SSD, and then two terabytes HDD and the rest is all in my channel description. I would just wanted to go over the most important things. So if you're really interested, you can always check that. So now it's time to test our PC. <laughs> I really hope it doesn't explode. Okay, so I installed World Edit. As you can see, it's with this X thing and stuff. And <laughs> my game already dropped a little bit of FPS because of Forge and the mods and stuff. But I think we'll be fine. And that's, <laughs> I mean, we but we want to crash our game, so of course this doesn't really matter. Yes, before anyone tells me in the comments, I know I know I forgot the overlay with all the temperatures and the usages. Please, can we just forget about that? We're going to get a lot of TNT. Just start with a little bit. So like that, a little bit of TNT. Oh, I wanted it to be a square, but whatever. And let's see how much our FPS drops. And actually, it stayed at above 100, so... Let's do a little bit more, and with a little bit I mean a lot, <laughs> this is already a big block of TNT. Uh, let's see how much it... <laughs> let's see, is my game going to crash? Okay, my FPS is okay. But the world is really slow, as you can see, it's a big red bar, uh, they changed something in 1.15 for the FPS, so this is handling pretty good, it's going really slow, but it's not going to crash. Okay, yeah, it stopped. <laughs> so, wow, this that was a really big explosion, but it didn't crash, so let's try Entities again, because it was going in the right direction. Okay, let's summon a bee. <laughs> 
Okay. Um. Yeah. So, and if you spawn a lot of bees, I want to summon TNT at every bee. So let's see how that goes. We will. I need to get in here to stop it. If there are too many, so the FPS is definitely going down, but it's not near to crashing at the moment. Um, so the FPS is dropping below 100, so I'm going to try and remove the command block. There we go. Okay, and now we're going to... Okay, so now we're going to summon a TNT at every B. <laughs> Let's go. I didn't even... It didn't even drop like... What the heck? <laughs> My PC just <laughs> did just fine, okay. So let's try with the laggy block. I think, um, and what I mean by that is like all of these, uh, a chest can be laggy, a hopper, maybe a bell, maybe we'll try a bell. Let's set it as a bell and oh my god, this is laggy. <laughs> oh my god, so much bells. <laughs> this is what I mean. If this was just like a normal block, this wouldn't be too laggy. And oh my god, look at my FPS. This is so laggy. Okay, so now we are going to fill a lot of blocks. My god, bells are... <laughs> look at... What the heck, my game is so laggy. I'm going to do more bells. The world is so beautiful. Oh my god, it's lagging so bad. <laughs> if I fly away, it will fix itself. Yeah, now it's a lot better. Um, I want to try more TNT, so I tried filling everything with TNT. Okay, so for some reason, I think I ex accidentally selected something else, but let's just... <laughs> uh, <laughs> this is already super laggy, so I'm really excited what's going to happen. I think this might be it. This might crash our game. It's literally so laggy, oh my god. This might crash our game. This is already so laggy and now it's all the TNT. We're getting... I hear explosions but the FPS is so low. It's like literally zero FPS, oh my god. Oh, not responding. Maybe. Could it be? Oh, it's not responding. Close the program. Um, This is a good sign. I think it's going to crash. Uh, it's not doing anything and my screen is... White. Uh, okay, I, I've sat it for like a minute and it's still not doing it, anything. So I think this is actually... this. We can say this is a crash. It's It didn't really close. I just closed it myself. But Okay, for the final attempt, I'm going to try something else. I'm going to load some shaders. Some really heavy shaders I found. Um, which should drop my FPS already. And wow, this looks amazing. And how much FPS? Oh, actually, it's still, like, it's still like more FPS than my previous PC without shaders and without recording. So, th this looks really cool, actually, FPS. I do have some lag spikes, but whatever. So, and then we're going to summon some more entities again. Um, which one Which one is laggy? I think Enderman could be laggy because they also, like, remove blocks. And, yeah, so we're going to go with Enderman. Okay, so I got 16 command blocks that say summon Enderman. Let's get the lever and some redstone and slideshow starts. Oh my god, this already is already so laggy. Let's see how long it takes until my game crashes. I hope I am I have a feeling that it's going to take a while, but it's already at 1 FPS, so who knows? <laughs> I cannot deny this does look really cool. It's like a whole sea of Enderman, of like purple and black. This looks really, really, really cool, especially with the shaders. I think <laughs> the reason why I have such low FPS is, all, is um, also because of the shaders, but... Wow, this does look really cool. I hear a lot of block sounds, so all the Endermen are picking up blocks and placing them back. Oh, the game crashed! <laughs> oh my god, the game just... what? I wasn't expecting to do that that early, so... I just started started clicking and the game didn't register all, all of it and oh my god that's really weird. Okay so that will be it for this video I hope you enjoyed and again thank you all so much for subscribing and watching my videos lately it's been absolutely insane without you this wouldn't be possible. 
And yeah, I hope you enjoyed. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe. And stay tuned for next videos. And I'll see you next time. Bye. Oh my god. <laughs>